What name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we have the finals of the Hill Giant Cup in Hilversum, the Netherlands for you. And on the left is Antoine, who's playing with uh, blue, white and black skies. And the opponent on the right is Avert playing with the Disco Troll deck. And there we see a Tundra and a Library of Alexandria there for Avert. So that's a great start. Very debated card in the Swedish format. And there he takes an extra draw. So now he has eight in hand after playing that Volcanic Island. And obviously it's up to Antoine to try to get rid of that Library of Alexandria as fast as possible. And there is another card in a time walk, but a nicely timed mana drain there. So that helps. And with the extra mana from the time walk, he casts a Surrender of Freed. So there's a 3-4 flyer from the Arabian Nights expansion. And let's see what Avert is going to do. He's first drawing his card before activating his library. Playing an island. And passing turn. So deciding to use his library probably at the end step of the opponent. Antoine taking a damage there from the Surrender Befree. Hitting him for four here, or for three of course, because it's a three four flyer. Going to 17, playing at Savannah Lines. So there's definitely, ooh, there's a, a lightning bolt, instant lightning bolt on that Savannah Lines. I wanted to say there's a clear plan here of the Skies player, uh, just putting a lot of pressure here on the board, playing aggressively. And I'm sure Antoine knows that there will be a disc sooner or later, and that's always kind of difficult and there's nice, there's the strip mine on the Library of Alexandria. So that's exit for the library. There's another attack in here. And what I wanted to say, it's difficult when you're playing against these uh, disc decks because you know, I don't want to build too much of a board presence for when my opponent is going to play out the disc. On the other hand, um, you also have just have to play your game and you cannot, you cannot hold back too much. Also, uh, Antoine has, of course, Disenchant playing with white. So I'm curious to see how that's going to work out. There's an activation of the factory. So does Avert want Antoine to activate his factory here? And Antoine is playing it safe. So he's taken the two damage. I think damage raise wise. <coughs> is that even, can you say that in a sentence? Damage raise wise? What I mean is that the damage raise, he's probably going to win here. Although, there's a lightning bolt to the face. Interesting choice. So obviously, Avert was hoping for an activation of the factory there to block his factory and then play a lightning bolt. Because he's pretty low on land there with just five land. But there's another Savannah lines. Will there be a counter spell? And there's an attack of the Ifrit. So Avert is going down to 11. Volcanic Island, still no disc, or a troll for that matter. Taps four, so this could be it. And there is the disc on the field. Will we see a disenchant? I do see some tapping happening there. No, it's untapping, tapping. And there's a power sink and a counter spell on the power sink. I just wanted to say, like I've seen Antoine, uh, play a few times now um, and what I've noticed oh and there's a flip a flip on the Nevenerals disc and it hits well done so in slow-mo here as you can see what I w wanted to say is I've seen uh, Antoine play a few times and he takes his time he's a player that always has that card and he gives his feeling that he's lucky but it's really nice to see here that uh, Apparently, Avert is kind of have that same style where he has it. He holds that counter spell back, knowing that the disc will probably get targeted somehow. So keeping that disc in hand, and I wonder after Cyborg, we'll probably see a lot of red elemental blasts. 
coming from uh, from Avert's side as well. But it doesn't change the reality here that um, Antoine is doing really well. Avert's down on six life, and that aggressive plan really works. And the Chaos Arp took care of the disc after that decent flip. So let's see if he can find a way out of this tight spot. There's a tap. Will there be another disc? And Guardian Beast protecting the disc that's already gone. But it is a blocker. And there's a Swords to Plows here. So it does mean two more life for Avert. That'll buy him a little bit of time. Or will there be a counter spell? If there is a counter spell of two blue, it means he, ha he will have to tap his city, and that would also cost him an extra life. But he takes the Swords Resolve, so he takes two more life. He's on eight now. And we see Anton thinking, what can I do? He's activating his factories, and he's going for a full swing here. He, he has to, I think. So I wonder if there's still a Lightning Bolt in hand. If he has a Lightning Bolt, it would be really nice because he can take care of one of the factories, kill another factory, take five damage plus one from the city, so he'll end up on two life. Antoine has one card still, but only one untapped mana. So cannot play a counter spell here. I mean, he has to activate the factory, or else he's dead. Or is there a lightning bolt? There's a lightning bolt, so a lightning bolt on one of the factories. And he actually takes the damage. Interesting. He doesn't decide to uh, block with his, uh, with his mistress factories. That's an interesting choice. I'm curious to see. I'm sure he has a reason. Is there a fireball or something coming, like a huge fireball? You know when your opponent is counting the mana, Antoine was saying, this is not a good sign. Exciting moment here. Because if Avert will have to win the game at this turn, because when he passes turn, he's as good as dead. He cannot tap that city of brass because he's only on one life, so that's useless. Activating the factory, swinging in for two, and then a fireball. Okay, so he did the maps. Interesting. Wow. And it kind of feels like he stole the game here. Uh, very nice victory. And there you can see that the two points from the swords on the Guardian Beast actually mattered as well. Like on, and With games like these, every single life point matters. What an exciting opening game of the finals. Very curious to see the second game after sideboarding. Uh, so let's continue to game number two. Game number two with the Skies player on the play. That's the player on the left. And he'll have to win this game to go to a third game to decide who's going to win the Hill Giant Cup, the second edition. And that's a, that's a pretty nice start with that Chaos Orb. And there's a Soul Ring, pass turn. There's a quick disenchant. No mana there from Anton. Ay ay ay, and that's not great. And there's a time walk as well. So that means he's taking an extra land drop advantage here. So three lands in play for him, and Avert only has one land and two mana sources. And if Avert can get rid of that Mox, and there is a demonic tutor. And will he tutor for a recall? It seems like a good thing, sensible thing to do, because he's safe. But 
then again, he knows his deck, he knows what to do, he knows his opponent. So curious. There's a Lotus, and ah, he's, he, he had the Lotus probably, or looked up the Lotus and chose to go for the Mind Twist. Kind of like a, a knockout here, a knockout punch. Oh, and did you see that balance out of the hand? And balance is one of those cards that can help you when you're so far behind as Antoine is. And that's maybe one of the reasons why he kept his hand, because of that balance. So this is brutal. And it's really nice that combination for Avert of Black Lotus and Mind Twist there. Because I didn't think of Mind Twist because of the amount of mana Avert had, but then again, it's, it's when you have the Black Lotus, it's kind of a no-brainer. And I feel like that's really the final push. But the game's still young. And Antoine's a good player, so maybe he can find a way out of this. Still has that orb. And there's a stone rain. The one stone rain, he's playing main. There's a strip mine. And he'll probably hold on to that strip mine for now just to use it as mana. And a Setch Troll 3 3 in this case with the Badlands on the battlefield. Will he flip it or not? Or is he thinking, hmm, wait until I get a sword? He's going to flip it. And that's a hit. So that's the end of the set troll. Of course, a good moment to flip because he couldn't regenerate it. He didn't have any mana available, at least not black ones. And there you see the double maze of ifs. So I wondered if he boarded in some extra maze of ifs uh, because of that very aggressive start of Antoine in game one and, and skies can be very aggressive. There's a disenchant. Although in this case, well, of course, disenchant, I mean, it means control, having that disc on the, on the board, but there's not much that um, Antoine has to defend. This is interesting, a city and a bottle against those guardian beasts and also taking care of the Library of Alexandria. And that's actually one of the reasons why we see city, city and a bottle more often, I believe, is that, you know, worst case scenario, it's... A, 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 for two colorless mana, you can get rid of a Library of Alexandria, and almost everybody plays a Library of Alexandria, especially when you get into that top eight uh, semifinals, final section of a tournament. And there is a another such troll. And now he has enough mana to regenerate. And, ooh, that went very fast. I couldn't really see that last card. There was a Lightning Bolt from Avert. I could see that. Attack with the Satch Troll. And, and this is not really a game so far. I, I do feel that Antoine's too far behind. I mean, you haven't lost until, until you have lost, obviously. But just that mind twist at the start of the game and, and taking the balance out of his hand. I mean, that would have been brilliant, using that balance. And how cool would it have been if he would have used his twist, because he discarded three of the four cards, and then the one card that he could keep would have been the balance. I mean, that would have been legendary. That's such a great answer to a mind twist, the balance. But anyway, that didn't happen. And we just see the Satch Trolls chipping away uh, Antoine's life total here. And on, in the meanwhile, Antoine has built up a, a nice amount of mana. And that city and Obalo can protect him from the Guardian Beasts, at least. There's a blocker now. It's not ideal, though. But it's something. He just he needs the Swords to Plows here. It's just one Swords to take care of that troll. And I feel when you're getting lower on life and your opponent... He's playing with mazes, it's, it's, it's very hard. But his focus is now on stabilizing, just staying alive. Interesting to see the city in Apollo, by the way, thinking about his surrender to Fritz now, he probably boarded those out and replaced them for other creatures.
Because you would think with the surrender of Fritz, you probably wouldn't play City in a Bottle. So it's interesting. And there's another Fireball. So Death by Fireball. Again, and no blue mana there. If he would have had a second blue mana, he could have countered that Fireball. Okay, well, this, to be honest, the second game wasn't really much of a game at all, but that first game was awesome. And Avert has just won the Hill Giant Cup 2019 here in Hilversum, the Netherlands, with his Troll Disco deck. Avert, congratulations, and you're taking the Hill Giant home. Well, home, well, to your home. Uh, <laughs> it has been a great tournament. And if you'd like to see all the games, um, would like to see all the other games of the tournament uh, that I've covered here on the channel, you can click on the playlist that's on the screen right now. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think of this finals and of, the, of all the episodes of the Hill Giant Cup. For now, thank you for watching The Jamie Channel, the channel where we talk old school magic. And see you next time. <laughs>